Hi, I'm Nick with Trading Frames, and today I'm going to be showing you how I frame a basketball jersey. Today I'm going to be showing you how I framed a client's Dr. J 76ers jersey. The client provided the jersey and I ordered the 8x10 photos, the logo patches, and a laser engraved nameplate to help the display stand out more. First thing I'll do is color match the mat boards to match the jersey. For this one, I'm going to use a blue top mat, red bottom mat, and white foam board to pin the jersey to. Next thing I do is measure and draw the layout of the display on the back of the mat boards. During this step, I always double check the measurements before cutting the mats. Once the layout is all drawn, it's time to cut the mats. After the mats are cut, a double-sided adhesive is used to hold the top and bottom mats together. This way, the mat boards stay aligned in the display and hold the additional details such as the photos, patches, and nameplate. After checking the mats and making sure they all line up, it is now time to add the extra details. This is the step that is used to attach the photos, patches, and nameplate to the matting. After details have been attached to the matting, it is time to pin the jersey to the foam board. To help with wrinkles in the jersey, I use a steamer on the jersey before pinning. I am always careful not to steam on the autograph or the COA sticker, as it can fade the autograph or even remove the COA from even sticking to the jersey. Now the jersey is all pinned, it's now time to put it all together. This is where I add the matting and the pinned jersey into the frame itself with a sheet of plexiglass to protect the display. Plexiglass is preferred over regular glass as it is lighter and a less chance of shattering. This is beneficial to collectors that have kids or are being put in areas with high traffic. To hold everything in place, I then use a picture framing fitting tool to insert the tabs into the frame itself. Once all tabs are inserted, it's time to cover the back of the frame. This process is used to prevent dirt and dust from entering the display from the back, keeping your collectibles safe. 
A double-sided adhesive is used on the back of the frames to hold the backing paper and seal the edges. Once all four sides of the frame have adhesive, the backing paper is then added and smoothed to the back. I then slowly take a blade and glide along the edge to cut the backing paper from the frame. Now it's time to add the picture wire. To make a frame hold best on the wall, the wire should set at one third of the distance from the top of the frame. Once the measurements for the wire have been marked, I then add the brackets and the wire so the display is ready to hang. To add extra support, corner brackets are then screwed into each corner of the frame. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and contact me if you're interested in having your items framed. Enjoy the new addition to your collection and take care.